NUGA or Neural Optical Understanding for Academic Documents is a visual transformer model which performs OCR task for processing scientific documents. Okay. So basically this is like an OCR for your scientific documents and it converts these scientific documents into a markup language or markup language text. Okay. This is from Meta AI. Uh, so here are some examples over here. For example, if you click on this particular example, this is a paper on Llama, right? And this is the OCR result from Noga. Okay. So what is the uh, thing over here? It's a visual transformer model. Okay. So if you see, this is the paper content and here it has extracted this particular text from it. Okay. Uh, it's interesting that it is also extracted tables, right, as well as mathematical equations. Okay. Uh, so in this case, I can only see tables over here. Right. Let me see if there are any equations over here. I don't see. Maybe uh, let's check out another paper over here. Okay. So here also it does a very good OCR over here right ah so over here you see these mathematical equations are also extracted and ocr works on that right so if you go to their paper uh, you know what do they say over here so scientific knowledge is predominantly stored in scientific journals right so basically in the form of pdfs so pdf format leads to a loss of semantic information particularly for mathematical expression. That is where this particular transformer model comes in, okay, which is able to, uh, you know, uh, convert these mathematical expression also into readable text. That is the idea. So you have OCRs like Tesseract and other things, uh, you know, that uh, what happens is that they treat superscripts and subscripts in the same way as surrounding text, which is a significant drawback for mathematical expressions. In mathematical notations like fractions, exponent and matrix, relative positions of characters are crucial. So this is why you need to convert it into a proper format. Okay, what is the primary contribution over here? This pre-trained model is released uh, on GitHub. Okay, you can convert a PDF to lightweight markup language. So basically I tried this over here. It's very simple. I tried it in a collab. You have to just do pip install nougat OCR or nuga OCR, right? And then you have to call, you know, uh, nuga, you have to give your file, right? And the output directory. The model is the base model. Once you run this, okay, what I've done is that I've uploaded my, I uploaded this paper itself. Right, the paper which we are seeing for Nuga, Nuga I uploaded that itself. And then, uh, you know, that is my uh, PDF file which needs to be converted into text, right? And it will be stored in this uh, folder in a particular format with .mmd extension, okay? So this file is a lightweight markup language, mostly compatible with MathPix Markdown, okay? Uh, it makes use of latex tables, that is the idea. So I ran it and for this particular paper, which is around 17 pages, right? Uh, how much time did it take? Uh, it took somewhere around, you know, where is it? Right, somewhere close to two minutes. Okay, uh, somewhere close to two minutes for this particular paper. And here is the output. Okay, so if you see over here, uh, if you look at the OCR quality, you see over here, this is the title, right? Meta AI, abstract, you know, Lucas Fletcher, you know, that is what is coming over here, right? Correspondence to this thing, okay, Meta AI, abstract, and here is the abstract text which is extracted, okay? And where they talk about, you know, neural optical uh, understanding for academic documents. If you see, N is bold over here, that is why in this markup language you have this particular, you know, markup for this letter N. Right, uh, so it is able to extract this text. Right now, let's see if how uh, you know it extracts some of these uh, equations. Okay, so if you see, uh, if you see over here, if you go to this, I know what is this encoder. Right, this is the architecture diagram. 
if you go to the encoder over here, you see this, the visual encoder receives a document image X, right? So it's a three dimensional image and a three channel image basically, right? So this is actually converted to, you know, this kind of a markup over here, right? So that is the thing which uh, is done in this particular paper, right? And then if you go to setup over here, uh, you know, dimensions of Swin transformer, let's see where it comes. Okay, we use a Swin transformer and uh, let's go to setup over here, right? See over here, HW this thing, and then you have this particular equation, right? Uh, 22 by 17 less than 4 by 3 less than square root of 2. Um, so let's see, that is also present over here right fraction 20 to 17 fraction 4 3 square root of 2 right so it does this conversion very well uh, i have not tested it much but in my limited testing i see that it does this conversion very well so what is the architecture of this particular model so this is the end-to-end -end architecture right there is a swin transformer encoder which takes a document image and converts it into latent embeddings these are then subsequently converted into tokens by an autoregressive transformer decoder. Basically, a transformer decoder, right, converts this into your, uh, you know, sequence of tokens over here, or basically your text, right. So this is the architecture. Further details are present in this paper. Okay. Uh, other interesting things are some of the different image augmentation methods during uh, training which is shown over here. I, I suggest you have a look at this paper to get a deeper understanding of this uh, architecture and how they went about doing it. Okay. Uh, what they are saying is that there are some limitations with this particular paper. Right. One is that uh, they have actually measured it on I measured its performance on only English language, right? Uh, initial tests on small sample on other languages, uh, say Latin based languages seem satisfactory, but it's not known, right? And uh, what they say is that uh, in terms of uh, utility, it is limited by a number of factors. For example, it is trained on research papers. So it works particularly well on documents with a similar structure. However, it can still accurately convert other type of documents. So more, mostly the training data set is research papers. So the formats are, you know, based on that, right? Uh, then they talk about the generation speed. Uh, the generation speed is slow compared to other classical approaches. Okay. But it can correctly parse mathematical expressions. That's what they say over here. Right. And what they say about future work is this model is trained on one page at a time without knowledge about other pages. So what happens is that sometimes there, there are results in inconsistencies across the documents. Okay. Uh, this is noted in bibliography where the model was trained on different styles or sections titles where sometimes numbers are skipped or hallucinated. Okay. That's what they are saying over here. All right. So this is an interesting model. You can go and try it out, uh, you know, mainly to convert your scientific document to markup language basically. Uh, you know, you get all the mathematical equations and other things out as well over here, right? So in that way, this is a very useful model. So you can go and try it out to see how it performs on your documents, right? But this is an interesting development. I'll be putting the link to this particular page of um, yoga as well as the uh, your PDF file in the description of the video. Do check it out. I hope this video is useful for you. If you like the video, please like, share, subscribe to the channel. See you in another video.